let's say I wanted to go to shoulder and type bicipital tendinitis. Since I'm not a very good speller, I'll just right click that and hopefully we'll spell it right. Uh, and then we'll go to new page and type in rotator cuff tear. And we'll do dislocation of, or we'll just call it shoulder dislocation. I like this method because now you can see I have a sub group called orthopedics with the different areas of body systems. And then I can put the conditions themselves. And so let's say if under rotator cuff tear, I wanted to say signs and symptoms. And then I wanted to make another one that's another text box. I could say orthopedic testing. As you can see with OneNote, you can create several text boxes that are separate. This might come in handy later as you might want to change the order of something. So how do I get the actual content into my clinic notebook? Well, this is where you, wherever your notes are coming from, whether they be PDF, PowerPoint, or Word document, we go to those. So let's go to our shoulder handout for orthopedics. And we can see, okay, here we have a condition, thoracic outlet syndrome. Well, I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go over to my OneNote. And I'm going to say shoulder. And I'm going to go new page, thoracic outlet syndrome. Okay. What did they have in the notes? These are the common tests for that. So we'll move on. We have first we have Adson's test. So I'll I could highlight this text, copy it, go again over to my OneNote, and I have to make a new page for Adson's test. So we'll do that. And then I will paste that information in there. I can go to back to my PowerPoint and highlight the text and then go to OneNote and paste it in there. As you can see it's a lot larger text. I can just take that and I would want to change the font on it. So here you can explore the different headings and you can say oh I want that to be a little bit smaller font and that's a little too small so we'll make it 14. Okay. Let's say I want the picture in there. Well, I can go back to my PowerPoint and highlight the picture and copy it and go to OneNote and paste the picture. And now you can see I've created a test in here for AdSense test under shoulder. And I could take my own little notes on it and say, This orthopedic test is used for thoracic outlet syndrome. So that way I have somewhere on here the words thoracic outlet syndrome, or I can just make my own thing. This will be useful when I want to use the search function. So if I want to use search all my notebooks for thoracic outlet syndrome, I have both the thoracic outlet page as well as Adson's test pull up. This is where the clinic notebook becomes clinically useful. Well, as you noticed, it was kind of tedious to copy and paste the information into this slide or this uh, page that I created on OneNote. There has to be another way to do it. So let's check that out. 
Here's another picture we would want to put in for AdSense test. Well, what about reverse AdSense test? Well, let's say I just want to put this slide in my OneNote, and let's say I even took some notes in class for the day about reverse AdSense test. Want to make sure to listen to the pulse as I pull the arm back. Okay, let's say I wanted all of this into my OneNote without doing the copy and paste method. Well, this is where we would go to our OneNote and say make a new page and we'll call it reverse AdSense test. Okay, and then we'll go back to our PowerPoint and we'll go to File and we'll want to actually print this and say send to OneNote 2010. What this will do is it will actually take this slide that we were looking for and it will send it over to OneNote. So we want to change a few settings first. We actually want to do a notes page so we get the slide plus the notes below it and we want to do a range so or we want print current slide there we go that's what we're looking for and you can see this is what we'll put into our page and we can change the orientation on it if we want collated okay let's do this so we'll hit print and we're waiting and as you can see down here at the bottom our OneNote is flashing at us so we click that and it says where do you want to insert this printout well we want to go and we want to find it so we said we there's the current slide which it knows we're on right here or we can also search for it and we can go okay we want reverse AdSense test and then we hit OK and it places the printout into the page. Well you noticed it was grayscale here well that was just a setting that I forgot to check and we want to change that to color. And We can do that again next time. As you can see it's created a whole box for it and we can move it around as we see fit and then we can even draw over top of it using the drawing tools up here at the top and you can see here's our little red pen and we can highlight the maneuver that this guy is doing and then we're going to turn off our draw tool and if we wanted to write text about it we can write notes over here And then we can even move those over top of an area that we wanted. And we could try shrinking this or changing that. As you can see, some of our other options here at the top. We can record audio and record video. We can attach a file or we can make a link. This might be handy if we were wanting to create a shoulder and let's call a new page. We'll call shoulder conditions and we'll actually put that up at our top as our first page that we see when we hit the shoulder tab and we'll do list of shoulder conditions and we'll say rotator cuff tear and thoracic outlet syndrome and we can then go on and say we could just say shoulder up here and we could do a list of orthopedic Tests for shoulder. And we can say reverse AdSense. Let's not forget AdSense. 
And now I'll show you how to make the link. So we can double click AdSense and right click on it and hit link. And we can search for AdSense in this box here. And we want to say AdSense test. And we want to hit OK. And then we'll go to reverse AdSense. And we'll hit link. And we'll type in AdSense again. And this time we want reverse AdSense. Now, whenever we click on that, it will take us to that specific page. And we can go back to our shoulder page and hit reverse AdSense. And now you can compare how we've inputted the information into our clinic notebook. Here, this was the copy and paste method, where the text is manually copied from a PowerPoint. and then paste it in here or print it via the send to OneNote function. Realistically it's up to you about how to create a clinic notebook whatever you find it clinically relevant. If you find that it's easier to create a new notebook for every class and we call, we'll call this one cardiology you will create notebook or you want to create a condition-based notebook so we'll say lung conditions, create notebook. And then within our lung conditions, we'll just create a new section, and we'll call it asthma. And as we'll just, just do an asthma page here, and then we'll do a new page, and we'll title this one signs, and then symptoms and we can create a new page and we can call this one DDX this one labs diagnosis management and treatment and that way when you create your clinic notebook, you can have each page dedicated to the individual aspects of managing asthma. And then here we could put COPD, and you get the point. So it's really up to you if you want to make it based off of your classes or a general modality, and then having your different classes and notes within there or having it a condition-based or a system-based notebook. And that is all for the first OneNote tutorial.